box parts. It's the Network Choice Awards for men's and women's basketball on the season finale of Inside Buck Sports. And one more go around here on Inside Buck Sports. John Stevens with you for the final time in 2009 10. Coming to you from inside the Mountain States Health Alliance Athletic Center here in the campus of East Tennessee State University. And today, we get to open the envelopes and find out the winners of the Network Choice Awards for men's and women's basketball. Jumping right into the men's categories, the first one was Game of the Year. And boy, you know, in a championship season, there's a lot of games that could fall into this category. The three nominees that we had, definitely great choices. But as we take a look at the nominees on your screen now, only one of these can walk away the winner. And when our, vote, our voters uh, actually chimed in on this one, our panelists decided that the Game of the Year for ETSU men's basketball was to take a victory from the hands of seeming defeat in front of 3,000 fans on Mercer's home floor to claim the ninth trip to the NCAA tournament in school history and an Atlantic Sun championship for the second year in a row. So congrats to the men's team on that, and that is our game of the year. You know, we had a lot of other games happen this season uh, where the Bucks had to fight from behind as they came into the halftime with a, a deficit and then had to kind of fight from behind. And only a couple of them, they're actually able to come out victorious in a comeback victory. And then we had another comeback that they didn't quite get the win for against Murray State, but it was still one of our candidates for comeback of the year. As we take a look at those nominees, Murray State, the corner final game, corner final game against Campbell in the tournament. But no, that was not according to our panelists, the best comeback of the year. It was the first official comeback win over USC Upstate in which the Bucks were down 18 points going into the second half and were able to overcome that margin. A couple of big threes in the end, Justin Tubbs and Micah Williams carry the Bucks to victory on senior day and gave them the emphasis that they needed to go through what was eventually a six game winning streak to go all the way through the Atlantic Sun tournament and come out victorious. So that's the winner for the best comeback of the year, USC Upstate. And you know, another thing as we turn to individual honors, gonna take a look at the highlights here of some individual feats, magnificent feats over the course of the season. It's our Hot Shot Award. And boy, there were a few hot shots that meant a lot to the Bucks. Justin Tubbs sinks a three-pointer to pretty much ice the game in the A-Sun Championship and basically turn everybody in that uh, uh, University Center at Mercer on their ear and uh, silence the crowd inside University Center as the Bucks would walk away with the Atlantic Sun title. Another great shot that uh, echoed throughout the, the uh, Mountain States Health Alliance Center behind us here was the 28-foot massive three-pointer for Jacoby Davis, the lone senior uh, actively playing on the squad this year. And uh, of course, that helped the Bucks overcome adversity and defeat Campbell here inside the Mountain State Center, but that was not the shot that, that won our Hot Shot Award in the Network Choice Awards. Came on the road, and it came as an upset of mammoth proportions. Jarvis Jones, with the game winner in the final seconds, sets up a full court heave for the Lipscomb Bisons that they can't quite make, and the Bucks pull off a huge upset on the road at Lipscomb. So taking one more look at the instant replay of that, Jarvis Jones, with our hot shot, shot of the year for ETSU. Sticking with the highlights here, we're gonna take a look at the top dunks of the season. And you know, I was surprised at the number of panelists that remembered our winner in a pool of so many great dunks. Backing into this one, we'll take a look at Isaiah Brown's nice, neat 180 reverse to kind of put the icing on the cake as it were against Campbell in the A-Sun quarterfinal. And then you had Micah Williams on a give and go where the pass was just as good as the dunk, arguably, if not better, from Isaiah Brown. But the winner, the one that stuck in everyone's mind the most, was one of many athletic moves above the stars, Justin Tubbs flying in for a dunk against Campbell in that big win at home. So Justin Tubbs, congratulations for the top stick for 2009-10. Quickly, a few awards as we get ready to close out our men's awards here for our Network Choice Awards. Take a look at the solo standout. This was a game when a guy kind of took the team on his shoulders and led the Bucks to victory. We had a 32-point performance for Tommy Hubbard uh, back against Arkansas, a great non-conference win, but Michael Williams is gonna walk out of here, the winner, 32 points in the quarterfinal over Campbell as the Bucks had to come back from a halftime deficit and Micah really got the three-pointer working and helped the Bucks 
to win that one and advance to the semis and eventually become Atlantic Sun champions. Couple of awards for freshmen. First, the Frashi Award for the year. We had Sheldon Cooley, we had JC Ward, we had Lucas Paderas. And of those three, Sheldon Cooley is going to walk out of here, the Frashi Award winner for the season. And then also, he will take the Frashi Game Award as we take a look at our nominees. But Sheldon Cooley is going to be singled out for his 29 points at Mercer. And one final award, ladies and gentlemen, for the men this season, most improved. We didn't see him in the individual performance, but Tommy Hubbard is going to come out your most improved player, and I think well-deserving of that honor. Tommy Hubbard led the team in points and rebounds this season. That's it for the Network Choice Awards for the men. When we come back, we've got the winners for the Lady Bucks. Stay tuned to Inside Bucks Sports on the Buccaneer Sports Network.